Hi, this is Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and CherryAdRichardson.com. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm a little tired. Um, just finished working. Uh, felt like it was going to be forever. Uh, <laughs> I had, I had a, a rough day today. Uh, had a lot of parts come back to me, and uh, it was just almost overwhelming um, but it's over um, tomorrow will be a new day <laughs> so anyways um, it has definitely gotten cold um, you know it's the very end of October and uh, it, the cold weather is finally coming in um, not that I want that um, I would rather it be warm um, but it's definitely here. Uh, fall has arrived, uh, and winter is close on its heels, um, just the way the, the temperature is feeling. So, um, I did manage to get a uh, greenhouse clean, it closed up last night, or yesterday. Uh, now I have to work on getting the um, heaters the, the adjusted so that they're at the right temperatures. Um, <laughs> it was it wasn't too bad this morning when I went out to check on it. Um, it's maybe a little chillier, a little colder than what it really should be, but like I said, I've still got to adjust the uh, the heaters just a little bit. Um, the big heater that I got working uh, doesn't seem to be working quite the way that it should be, so I'm not sure just what the problem is with it, um, but I'm thinking it's a thermostat control issue because um, it doesn't seem to be, I mean, when it comes on, it heats and heats well, I think, it's just that it doesn't, it doesn't stay on, it doesn't kick back on when the temperature drops below what I would prefer it to be at. Um, and I've got it cranked all the way up, um, so it should be, you know, once the temperature drops a little bit, uh, it should be kicking back on, and it doesn't seem to be doing that. It seems to be letting the temperature drop a lot farther than what I would prefer before it seems to want to kick back on. So I'm not sure just what the problem is. Uh, I may have to play with it a little bit more to figure the problem out. But I do have a couple other heaters in there that I'm using that uh, are controlling the temperature better. I just have to get them adjusted to where I want them so as to control the temperature uh, in the greenhouse itself and control it on both ends. Um, so anyways, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. Um, and that's one of the joys of having uh, tropical plants in Indiana during the winter, uh, trying to keep them warm so that they survive. Uh, I've had problems with this in the past. Uh, we've had a couple of times where uh, the heaters didn't work right or uh, the heat went out um, and the temperature has dropped too far and we lose about half the plants. Um, over the winter. Um, I'm hoping not to lose that much this year. Uh, I'm hoping to keep everything alive and function and, and you know growing and, and doing well. Um, but some of them, you know, they are very, very susceptible to cold air. So it doesn't take much. So anyways, um, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Uh, subscribe. We are still trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. So have a great evening and we will see you again tomorrow.